Hello there. Welcome to a Tyke Farming in the Philippines. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Ding a ling ding dong the bell. It's Wednesday morning, 6.30. We'll have two men on site today. Win and Ramo, as usual. Um, the drillers are are on site working, I think there's three of them. Uh, the boss is going back into the city today uh, to get a pump for us, a submersible pump. Um, and then he'll be back. I, saw, I think they ate a bit, a bit of hard stuff last night. I think they were drilling till about nine o'clock. They've got a light set up outside. And they started drilling again at four o'clock, uh, about four o'clock this morning. So they're trying to get to depth, they're trying to get finished this week, which would be good. Uh, but if they hit a big boulder, then it might, be, <laughs> it might take a bit longer than that. So, as usual, I'll make a couple of videos throughout the day. We didn't get the video uploaded again last night. Um, so that'll be done this morning and uh, I'll get back to you shortly back again it's 8 o'clock we've just uploaded the video and it ended abruptly saying I, I would uh, do another video this evening which I didn't do so apologies for that but with uh, left it up anyway now the reason uh, and I forgot to do the video is um, we were, I was talking to the driller oh, for an hour and a half from five o'clock to half past six last night sorting out the pump for the new well now originally he suggested that we use this pump uh, which is a gold pump uh, it's German, as far as I'm aware, and they are good pumps without a doubt. The, the fellow as well next door, he's got the same pump, but an older one. Um, now that'll lift water from about, I think it's 195 feet. But with, with pumps, the inlet side, whether it's down the well or from a lake or a stream, that's a weak point of pumping water. Um, up or into the pump, you're very restricted on length of pipe you can have. Now once it's in the pump, you can, you can pump the water for five kilometres. Um, on flat land or whatever the figure is but you can pump water a long way but the weak side is getting the water in the pump lifting the water and the suggestion was that I put a hand pump on there to uh, fill these tanks as required but we do use a, a lot of water in the cabin uh, you know just washing for example uh, you don't realise how much water you use in a household um, until you have to pump it or carry it. So I wasn't too keen on that idea, so I've decided to uh, leave that pump as it is, because it will work. It would be probably would be working now if I hadn't been pumping down the piggery where we're using a lot of water. It might even still be working now. Um, so that's staying as it is, so we had to sort out the pump for the bore. Now the best pump for down the bore is a submersible pump. And you can get them on the shop if for, well, 5,000 pesos, but 17, 20,000 pesos. But the Chinese, we don't know what they like. Now if you want a gold pump, on Shopee, there was around 70,000 pesos, um, and he got me a quote 
for just the pump was 60, around 60,000, 65,000. And when I checked up on it, it was a good quote. Now, there's different bits and pieces to add on to that. So the total cost for the pump, a gold pump, is going to be 70,000 pesos. Um, but I decided it was well worth spending the money uh, on a good pump. And that'll be plumbed in ev everything. Um, the pump will be down the bore. The water will... Um, come up on in uh, a metal metal pipe is putting in he recommends to the pump and then it will go be piped into the header tank that will be on a float switch so I'll set the float switch so that it fills up to two thirds and remains at two thirds which then when it does rain, it, um, there's room for the rain water. Or maybe even half full. Because um, it's quite a big roof. And we'll um, hopefully be, the other side of the roof will be able to plumb that guttering in to go into the tank as well. So I'm, I'll maybe make it half full. Keep it at half, half full so there's room. Room for rainwater. So that's that's where we're going. It's quite an expense, seventy thousand pesos, um, about fifteen hundred pound, I think. But I think it'd be worth it. So that's the update on the pump. I don't know how, how deep they are at the moment. I've, I've been had a look a couple of times this morning. They're drilling away. Everybody seems happy, so it's it's going it's going down all right. And I'll do another video shortly. It's uh, one o'clock. So we're just finishing lunch. Uh, the work continues on the fence. We've got one, two... I'm not sure what's going on there. Just dug this big tree stump out, I think. Uh, three holes for the fence, of course, and the setup for bending the Rio bar next. Um, so that's what we'll be doing this afternoon, putting the Rio bar in for each of the posts, and when that's in, then to dig a trench out and connect the Rio bar to the trench. So that's what's happening here, we'll go down the piggery and um, see what's happening with the drillers. It's very hot at the moment, we keep getting on the forecast 20, 30, 10, 40%, 50% chance of rain. I'd say the chance of rain is zero, maybe even minus zero. They will rain eventually. The water cart has been in three times this morning. Um, I've told them to keep coming. So we're drilling away. I don't know how many lengths of pipe we're down now. Maybe get an idea with one length there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight lengths. I think we had 15. So that's still half, halfway down to where they want to be. All the pigs have cleaned out and fed. Looking a lot cleaner and smelling a lot better in here. There's very little smell, usually. But yesterday it was quite strong. We're not having no water. So we're going away.
the fella owns the uh, business, he's away with another fella over in that, that direction. Uh, there's another job over there, an existing well which is not working, so it's a bit of a panic. Um, to go and get it sorted out. He asked me if I was okay with it. And I said, yeah, of course I am. You're still drilling, you don't have to be here. That, the fella drilling is more than capable. So you can do what you want. Why he asked me for my permission, I don't know, but that's the way it is here. Um, he's going to pick up the well pump and he'll bring that back tonight as well. Oh no, he's not back tonight, he's staying overnight at the other place. Um, so I'll be back tomorrow. Ramel's just carting a load of the other bar down there to start on that. So, as usual, apart from yesterday, I'll make a closing video this evening. To make uh, a closing video, it's uh, five o'clock, the workfellas have just left. Uh, two of the drillers have left to uh, go and finish another job. I don't know if we've got uh, two, one or nobody down there at the moment, so we'll go and have a look in a minute. Anyway, with three holes dug for the fence posts, with one tree stump removed, there's another three to remove, but uh, they're maybe going to put the posts in first. Four tree stumps to remove. Uh, they've been making up the Rio bar. We've got two made. So they'll probably put them in tomorrow because they pour two at a time normally. So they'll probably leave the third one, put these two in, then dig out to put the VO bar in the foundation. So that's going to have to come out as well. So there's a lot of bloody digging in front of them. Um, better fasten this up. So we'll have a walk down the piggery and see what's happening with the pigs and the drilling. Well, we had a delivery today. That's the pipe that's going down the well. Uh, they'll pump the water up through that pipe. And the fittings and other bits and pieces. <coughs> I got the plastic pipe, pipe the four inch pipe which lines the bore. That was delivered yesterday. Uh, the pump is paid for, uh, just requires picking up, I think. Uh, Win and Ramil cleaned the pigs out for me and fed them. Um, they're looking a lot cleaner than what they did yesterday and the day before. Yeah. This one's a cute little pig, it's half brown with a black nose. <laughs> but these, these small pigs are growing quite nicely now. And the middle pigs, <coughs> I would say there's three of them, 50 kilos now. And uh, those are the two left of the first lot of pigs. Uh, be, both over 60, maybe pushing 65 now. <coughs> so with no drillers left on the site, um, I don't know how deep they've got today the one two three four five six seven eight lengths piping left and they're ten foot lengths 
Now when there was autumn, when the truck arrived, there were 20 foot lengths, but they, they've cut them in half and put a fitting on either, either end. So I think that 12 lengths, so that'd be 24 10 foot lengths. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine above the ground. So there's 90 foot above the ground. Um, so that'd be 150 feet below the, the ground in piping. So we haven't much further to go. 175 feet, I think he said. So maybe another three lengths. Yeah, so we, we mm, maybe tomorrow, the day after, will be complete. But he says there's a, a lot of water. We've come across a lot of water already. I don't know how deep it is against that fence, but uh, he's not using our water, which is good because we don't have much. I think we've had four loads today. Um, now it's cooled off, he'll be digging some more. I'll have a look, see what we've got in the tank. Maybe to here, but just washing the pigs out and what they drink in the day, it's a fair bit of water. So, we'll leave this video today. Um, hopefully, we'll get it uploaded tonight, and we'll do another one tomorrow.